Right guys, so today we want to talk about the throttle bodies that come on the M111 engines and um, what you can do to change them because there's not much choice with between, well, between the throttle bodies um, but basically what you get standard is sort of a two and a half inch throttle body and what I'm going to show you today is what we run on the SLK and that is a three inch CL500 throttle body. Now they look the same but you still have to do quite a bit to make them work. So what I'm going to do is talk about what you need to do to your wiring to make this work and what you need to do to make this fit as well. So let's get into it. Right so side by side is the standard M111 230 compressor throttle body. I don't know whether the 200 one's any smaller. I haven't ever had a 200 engine, so I can't say. Um, and this is the CL500 throttle body. As you can see, there's a fairly big increase in size, and that's because that one's two and a half inch, and this one's three inch. Now, they look pretty similar. Plugs look the same. The motor bodies look the same. And the bolt pattern, is even the same even though on the back side this is a solid piece and this is more of a webbing design this port moved to here on this one um, now there is a very subtle difference which at first when we started doing this we didn't notice and that is that if you look at those butterflies they actually work in opposite ways so this one works that way and this one works that way. What this means is that when you're fitting this you will have to do some wiring modification. This poses a bit of a problem when you come to just put that plug on. We didn't notice it to start with but as we got more involved in it we did notice it and why it wasn't working. So this is where you have to change some of the wires round. Now I don't know why exactly you can't do it at the plug end. Ben hasn't explained that to me. Um, you have to do it at the ECU end and I'll put a small write up in the description of which wires it is. Um, but you have to reverse some of the wires because the operation of the throttle plate is reversed. Now what impact that has on airflow, I don't know. I've never tested it, we've never looked into it. We just know it works on the SLK. And we did this on the SLK because we're putting in a lot more pressure. But uh, the biggest thing is, with this mod, you need DAS to be able to do it. Um, because there's something you have to do with resetting the throttle position. Uh, it's it's a, a throttle relearn procedure, I believe it is. Um, so you cannot do this without DAS. You can't do the normal key and throttle pedal type relearn. You have to use DAS, I believe, to do this. I've never tried it with the um, key and throttle pedal reset, um, but from what Ben says, it will only work if you do it through DAS. Uh, so I know that's a bit of a bum, a bit of a bummer for that one, but that's the way it is. Those of you that do have DAS, this is a great upgrade, and it really helps. Now I recommend, although DAS is a lot of money, I recommend getting it if you own a Mercedes because it will pay for itself over time. If you're handy with the spanners and don't mind doing a bit of wrenching, DAS is definitely a tool you should have if you own a Mercedes and enjoy messing about with them as we do because it just makes life that much easier you don't have to take the car anywhere for specialist diagnostics you get a hell of a lot more diagnostic data from it and it just makes life easier and simplifies things it takes a bit of getting used to but it's it, it, it really does help the other thing is that on the CL500 one you have these little tabs that you need to grind down so you can actually Put a piece of silicon pipe over the throttle body um, because you won't be able to use the same bit of pipe that you do on the standard throttle body 
Um, so you sort of have to rethink your intake design. I don't know whether these, whether this one would fit on a plastic manifold because we only use the metal ones. Despite the plastic one being better for flow, we just use the metal one because it's more durable. Right, so that'll do it for this video, for these throttle bodies. Um, I hope that it's been useful as usual. Um, like I say, if some of you want to try it, feel free. I'll put it right up in the description. Um, and uh, yeah, like I say, you need NAS to do it really though. Um, but yeah, if it's been useful, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.